The Peking is one of the last big cargo-carrying sailing ships left in the world. This legendary four-masted bark was built more than 100 years ago at the Blomund Foss shipyard in the port of Hamburg. When I look out of my office window and see the Peking, I just think, wow. Yesterday it was quite late, and I saw it illuminated for the first time up close. And it gave me the same sensation. It's a great feeling. A special visit on board this incredible four master. Now, in a new edition of Port is What We Do. Definitely, the Peking is a very, very special sailing ship, but what is the reason why it's so special? For starters, because it's come home to Hamburg, where it has so much history. But there are many more reasons. We meet Klaus Bernhard Staubermann. An academic of international standing, he's the newly appointed founding director of the German Port Museum. The Peking is a real passion project for him. A ship is a living organism, and a ship like this has seen a lot. You can really feel it. Its journeys, the places it's been, create a real sense of its history. It really conveys that. The Peking has a temporary berth opposite the German Port Museum at the historic Schuppen 50A. The Bremer Key will be a safe long-term berth for this new symbol of the newly founded German Port Museum. That's because it's tied up alongside some very special dolphins which move in tandem with the changing tides. Simona Ormanite, a construction engineer at the Hamburg Port Authority, explains how these donut fenders work. From here, we can see what we built really well. You can see the two piles standing vertically in the water. These are what we call dolphins. You can also see the mooring lines, and you can see the ring around the dolphins. They're like a small damping device. They're called donut fenders because if you took them off, they really would look like a donut. They have a hole in the middle, and they are slipped over the dolphins. As the tide moves up and down, the ring moves with it, moving up and down the dolphins. And the mooring lines made fast up there, they float up and down with the tide, and this enables the Peking to be kept here in a tidal berth. The Peking is ready to take people on board, and the people are ready for this famous four-masted bark that has finally returned home. That was clear from the enthusiastic welcome of thousands of people when the cargo-carrying sailing ship returned to the port of Hamburg in 2020. Finally home again. I think that's exactly what this ship does. It really captures people's imagination. And everyone can connect with this ship, either through things they've read, heard or maybe some other kind of connection to Hamburg. Our biggest task will be to continue shaping this process and working together with everyone involved to create exactly this kind of connection and make sure people really become aware of it. An eventful history and a bright future in the port of Hamburg. Even after 110 years, the Peking's journey is set to continue. Port is what we do.